Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to prepare and save layouts in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. video, I will show you how to prepare your program layouts, which will help you to save time in displaying and print your schedule. So doing layouts in Save It can help you in saving your settings, and will save you a lot of time. Let's take this schedule as an example. I will do some settings changes to the schedule, and my printing layout. Then I will save this layout for future uses. So, every time I want to display or print the same layout, I can use very easily. This is very important in case you're printing or distributing different kind of reports with different contents. Now let's say I want to modify my columns. Let's say I don't need my activity ID in this layout so I will remove it. Now in my layout I have the activity name, duration, remaining duration, baseline plan start and finish dates, the updated program starts and finish date and finally my percentages as you can see at this layout. Now I want to keep this layout settings for future use. Now let's go to print preview and check on the settings there. Let's say I want to add the baseline bar in my bar chart area. So I will go to view and then click on bars. Now I will scroll down until I reach to primary baseline. And then I will click on it and press apply and OK. Now we can see the yellow bars which is showing our original baseline bars. And you can easily compare it with our updated schedule bars. Here you can see that the program was planned to complete in the yellow period, but it is actually completed as per the blue bar. Also want to show the relationships in this layout version. So, I will select the relationships from here. Now let me preview my layout. We can those lines here which present the relationships between, between different activities. Now after finishing my settings changes for my layout, so we'll save it for my future use. So from here I will click on layout and then choose to save as. Then I will name that layout as contractors program. Then I will click on save. Now every time I need to present this layout. I can easily open this layout called Contractors Program and Primavera will present for me the same layout we saved. As an example, let me open another layout. Let me choose two weeks look ahead. Press Apply and OK. Now the layout preview for my schedule changed. As you can see here. The columns have changes. But if I want to go back to my previous layout, I can easily open my contractor's program layout from here. And then press on apply and OK. This brought me back to the setting I have saved at that layout. So this is the purpose of saving the layouts, you don't need to repeat your settings again and again. Thanks for watching.